Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel. And today we got big news, we've got the first patch in weeks for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. These patch notes are for November the 7th, 2023 and we're gonna go straight into it. So the first thing is about Nicotero's Leatherface interaction audio. So we all know that people are calling it a pay to win skin because the sound of the chainsaw sounds a little bit lower. People are having a hard time figuring out where the face is coming from. Also another problem that we all knew and we can all notice is that when Letterface is breaking down stuff around the map. The sound of the chainsaw reverts back to the original chainsaw sound. So they're fixing that. It also says here we have fixed an issue where Nicotero's Letterface chainsaw dance audio defaulted back to the standard chainsaw audio. I'm not sure what they mean by chainsaw dance audio. Is this the sound of the chainsaw in the environment which people were struggling to figure out where Letterface is coming from? Or is it something else here? I don't know what the dance is. So maybe someone can tell me down in the comments. So hopefully we're gonna notice a big change with Nicotero's other face tomorrow when we all jump into the game. The other big thing they're doing here is the gas station car exploit. So we all knew there was a car by the gas station just behind the tool shed that victims could get into crouch down and if you didn't have hitchhikers into the map you could not get to them and they would just stay there all game and you could not win the game as either. So a bit of a weird one but they managed to just close that gap that leads you to the car so now you are not able to get into the car anymore so it's safe to go with johnny and cook into that map now because you won't have that trouble which is great they also fixed some pixelated textures we have fixed an issue causing texture on skins to not load properly on some platforms i don't know what this is maybe someone can tell me down in the comments and now the big change for the lobbies and i've already read some comments here on reddit about people complaining about this and they should have been doing they're doing it wrong i don't think they're doing this wrong all right let's just read it so player levels in lobbies player levels will now be hidden in lobbies i remember in my days of evil dead we had exactly the same problem first there were no levels and then they decided to display levels of the players and then we had all this problem with the lobbies absolutely nightmare you could not get into a game and then they reverted it so then you couldn't see the levels anymore this is exactly what they're doing it just breaks the lobbies and it keeps leading to lobby dodges the other thing they're doing is players who are partied up will no longer display party icons in lobbies interesting this is this is actually interesting because i, I didn't expect they were going to go as far as this so now you won't be able to see if people are in a party or not because this also leads to lobby dodges right and i think they're going maybe a little bit too far on this one but i, I don't mind actually then you're just going completely blind into the game you, you just know who your teammates are you just know who you're going against and there's no more information if people want to talk people can talk and maybe this will incentivize people to just talk more during the game during the lobbies actually so hopefully this will lead to faster lobbies let's hope so now i know people are expecting a big patch with a big drop you know where they're gonna fix all these perks and they're gonna fix this and they're gonna fix this and they're gonna fix that guess what guys they are working on those things however they are only releasing stuff that is safe to blend into the stable version of the game which we're all playing right everything else that they're still working on is probably not quite ready and it's not safe to release. They're probably finding out that even more stuff is breaking down by fixing some stuff. So all we need to do is just leave these guys, they're doing their work and then maybe some of the changes they're doing, some people will not agree, but you can see that they are listening to people, you know, they, they know about the car, they knew about the car exploit, that's fixed now, they knew about the letter face chainsaw, that's fixed now and they're trying to improve the lobbies so let's give them a little bit of leeway here let's hope that the big patch is going to come down soon now the other big piece of news that we have here is of the teaser trailer that we had with showing danny and also showing black nancy and they are both in the junkyard which is the new map that we're going to get and this is all very exciting because they usually start teasing stuff when it's about to get released so i wouldn't even be surprised if this is coming next week or maybe it's coming end of november who knows i think someone tipped off back in august that the new content was only going to come out in november and here we are november i think it's going to come out probably at the end of this month which is going to mark three months of the game releasing and that kind of makes sense, right? To have new content every three months. That's gonna be a new map 
and two new characters to play one victim and one new family member and that's probably gonna be the way going forward new content new dlc every three months that's pretty industry standard unless you're a really big game that really can afford to launch events every month like that by daylight for instance those guys are amazing the way they do things this is not that game not yet at least so it sounds like we're going for the three month format of dlc here anyway guys this is all the news i have for you i hope you enjoyed this if you did drop me a like also consider subscribing to the channel and joining to help support more content like this i do appreciate it thank you so much to everyone who already supports the channel you guys are super and i will see you all next time